Australia were devastating in attack as they brushed aside Japan 6,330 and Yokohama, adding momentum as they head to Europe to face stiffer opposition in Wales, England and Scotland later this month. The Wallabies scored five unanswered tries in the first half to put the game beyond Japan's reach before crossing for four more after the break. Tavita Karadrani ran in a hat-trick and his centre partner Samu Karevi grabbed two tries for Australia, who were playing their first test against the hosts on Japanese soil. We're really happy with probably about 60 minutes of our game, some players had really good games, said Australia captain Michael Hooper. Wing Henry Spate, hooker Tad Afupalot now, lock Rob Simmons and scrum half Nick Phipps also scored for the Wallabies as they extended their unbeaten run to six matches. Reese Hodge, playing his first test at fly half after Bernard Foley fell ill during the week, proved accurate with the boot, converting all nine conversions. Locks Wimpy Van Der Walt and Kazuki Himeno, making their test debuts, and number 8 Amanaki Maffey each touched down for Jamie Joseph's side, who are still struggling to find consistency with two years to go until they host the World Cup. It was a third straight loss to a Tier 1 nation on home soil after they went down in both of their meetings with Ireland in June. Fly half Ricky Amatsuda converted four out of five kicks at goal, including three penalty conversions. Replacement back Yudemura converted two of Japan's tries in the second half. While Japan's tries came in too late to change the course of the match, the amount of points the Wallabies conceded would be a potential point of worry as they head for Europe. Japan put 30 points on us, we've got to be better than that but congratulations to them. It was wonderful to play here, Hooper added. The last time the two sides met in a test was at the 2007 World Cup, when Australia prevailed 913 over Japan in Lyon.